In this video I'm going to give you a full and detailed demonstration of everything you get in social surveys and how our app is set up. So once you purchase and log in, the first thing you see is the, the getting started panel. We've got an intro video from my partner Karthik. We've got links to tutorials and training. We've got our support link up here so if you're ever stuck you can get help. And then we've got the dashboard link up the top here. Create survey, API integration and stats. So rather than go into each feature now I'm going to go and create a new, sur a new survey and show you everything from the start. So this one is, you just pick your survey name. If you take the box here, the question bank, you'll notice there are loads of pre-loaded questions that have been researched and they're all tried and tested from big industry surveys. You can use those to build your survey or you can just uh, create your own questions which most people I expect will do. So. We click the green let's go button and now we get to the template section. As you can see here, social surveys is preloaded with a load of beautiful templates. We've got all these offline templates for like restaurants, hair, hair salons, barbers, kind of a business financial one, gyms, gardening, mechanic, nightclub or a bar, restaurant, uh, holidays, real estate agent, more restaurant ones, loads and loads of templates here perfectly matched for offline clients and we also have all these cool generic ones as well as all these templates we have an image library of even more that you can load up to create custom templates and because we like to give maximum value as soon as the launch is finished we're adding loads more templates in here and you will get all those added to your account so for the demo I'm going to build a server here for this uh, nightclub you can click to preview how it's going to look and you select with this button. So I'm going to select that now and it takes us into the actual survey builder itself. There's a lot of cool stuff going on here so I'm just going to try to explain it. At the top we've got the different steps. If you want to change your template you can click back and do that. If you can click back here we have the 10 question types on the side here and then we have the kind of survey builder on the right hand side. It's got a welcome page, actual survey pages themselves, a thank you page and a disqualify page. So the welcome page is the first thing people see and you can turn that off and on. If you turn it on they'll see that. If it's off this goes straight into the questions. So I'm going to show you that first. We're going to turn it on. We'll click here to edit the content so it loads up with the uh, the default content. So I'm just going to pretend this is a, a nightclub survey. Just give it a title. And you notice everything here is drag and drop. We've got all these options at the top. You can add links, you can add YouTube videos, images, you can directly edit the HTML if you want to do that. So what I'm going to do now is add a little icon. This this could be for your survey's logo or a client logo. I just click this, set a URL. You can either do it from a URL or you can upload one. And there's a little URL now. So that's the uh, the first part set up. You can then set this uh, overlay here if you want to, if you have a particularly light background you can make it dark, it depends what colour your text is. So you can change all the colours here, you can brand it, you can make it red, you know, lots and lots of cool effects basically that you can have. So I'm going to turn off the overlay. The button then is the uh, this bit here, so you can make that say whatever you want. You can make the icon be left or right. You can change the colour, so we're going to make it a nice red colour. And you can change the font as well, so we'll just leave that as Arial. And the voice settings is for the text to speech, so if you turn this on when someone visits, this will be read out to them. So I'm going to leave that off for now so it doesn't start talking over the top of me while I'm making the video. So we save that, we click proceed, that's the welcome page. Now we want to add some questions to our survey. So we're going to go for a multiple choice one here. You just drop that in pops up the detailed question editor, then we want to we'll vertically align those and we'll say what is your favourite type of music? And we'll just give two simple answers here, with dance and rap. Now you can turn on lots of different options here. If you turn on the image option, that means you can add uh, upload image icons for the selections instead. Let's leave it as radio buttons for now. You can make the question mandatory so they have to answer it and again you can turn on text to speech. So we're going to save that. So 
and you can add unlimited pages now so if I want to add loads more pages I just click add page here and it adds it. For each page you can customize the background and the text color just by clicking here. So each page of your survey could have a different style, it could have different images, it could have whatever you want really and any content as well so it's very very flexible. So for this demo and to demonstrate the question logic system which is very powerful I need to add three pages so you can rename the pages so you don't get lost so I'm going to call them after the uh, the answers and I'm going to demonstrate the logic now so we'll add another question specific to the previous answer so for we'll, have, we'll go for a comment box for dance and we will say and this is a cool feature here the voice record if we turn this on now you'll see in the demo a little icon is going to appear here and they can record the uh, they can re record an answer with their voice with their microphone on their phone or on their computer so now we need the same sort of question for the rap page now I'm just picking random demo questions here you could really think about it and t I, could, I could do half an hour demonstrating this but I want to make it a quick video to give you an overview but you should be thinking now if this was a nightclub they're going to get information here now like about what type of music their customers like and that can they can book particular types of DJs or set up different types of party night based on what people say. So that's just, just off the top of my head, a basic example. But you get the idea. So I've saved that now and I've set up two questions. The last thing is the thank you page. We have to turn it on. Again, we get the visual editor. We just put a generic kind of message there. Thanks for letting us know match up the font and this is a cool part as well you've got obviously you've got the overlay settings again but now what do you want to do to reward people for completing the survey well I think opt-in is the best because you want to get people's email address so you can follow up with them so you can use opt-in but there's also giveaway settings where if you click that and turn it on there's a button and the button will take people to a URL directly to a download or to a video so that could be your bonus they're delivering I'm going to turn that off um, we've got social share buttons which we can turn on here as well. We've got the voice settings which is the text to speech what I've showed you and for this one I want to use the opt-in form. I'm going to turn that on now and because let's say this example is an offline client we want to get as much detail as possible so we want their name, their email and their phone. So we've got those three fields now and it's quite dark looking so we're going to make it a nice writer form, orange one, I'm going to change the button as well to whatever text we want and we'll make the button red. So let's save that and then we proceed to back to the manager. So that's a very basic survey set up. We've got the welcome page, we've got the intro page and we've got the two answers. So now it's time to set the logic and give you a demonstration of this thing in action. So this is where people set up the logic. It may appear kind of complex at a first glance, but it isn't really. You just pick the question you want to uh, people to be guided through. You set the condition. So if their answer is equal to A, go to A. If it's equal to B, go to B. So what I want to do is I ask people their type of music. If they've answered dance music, I want them to go to the dance page which is the one with the, the relevant question so I save that now I want to check for people who've said rap and I want to send them to the correct page the rap page so I'm going to save that and now for people who completed the dance one if they respond to that I want to take them straight to the thank you page just in case they, uh, they end up going to the rap one if you don't do that so like rap music I'm going to send them to the thank you page as well so that's the logic all set up now and you can see there's a graphical layout representation out here at the bottom next thing is we go to your final settings so you can turn the asterisks on and off which show if it's required you can turn progress bar on and off you can position the progress bar that's the basic settings then you can schedule the survey so we'll give it a start date and an end date that's perfect for competitions and contests response based autoresponder 
this is a huge feature. I've just I asked them with the radio button what is their favourite type of music and I've got two answers here now and I can set two different autoresponders by clicking the clicking uh, the option I can go to a webinar as well and all these autoresponders so when people complete their answers and opt in they're going to get sent to these two different lists and that means the business owner knows exactly who likes what and they can follow up which is a huge thing next up is the language settings this means social surveys is a, a good degree of multilingual localization so if you're doing this for a client who is in a Spanish language location you can edit all these and these are all the buttons that appear in the survey so that's pretty much everything we're going to publish this now and I'm going to give you a quick run through and show you how it all works so here's how it looks in my browser remember this is fully mobile responsive as well so if I go into uh, mobile mode here in the browser you'll see it's kept the size perfectly and you can go for all different kinds of phone sizes phone resolutions and it's all going to be there it's all going to look slick for you so that's cool so all someone does is they click here to start or you notice it's a big button as well so they just tap it on the phone and here's the question I asked what is their first their, your favorite type of music if they pick dance they should get taken to the dance question if they pick rap they should get taken to the rap question so I'm going to pick rap it's taking me to the correct question it's showing you how far on they've gone in the survey and this is the cool bit this little button here watch what happens when I click this it brings up the recorder they've got 21 seconds um, and they can record any audio they want now and that will be saved within the system for you to listen to back in the stats so if I just type to record here now it's going to ask for permission to do that one two three four five I stop that now it takes a few seconds to save the audio you can, they can re-record it they can listen back and then they just submit that question then they get to the end where they opt in you can set this up to redirect or whatever you want so that's all cool that's the demo now I'm going to go back into the admin area I'm going to go back to my dashboard and you'll see this is the demo I just set up we've got all our links for it here with the direct link you can activate it and deactivate it you can preview it edit it you can add client access to it you can control your autoresponder stuff here you can publish it to Facebook you can add retargeting code which is vital these days it's a huge huge marketing thing and you can check the stats here so we click into stats and we'll see here the all the entries was just, this is the one I just made messing around we'd see how many answers there have been you can export all this data in a CSV file you can export only one type of answer uh, you can export only the emails so it's all fairly self-explanatory the one I want to show you here is the wrap one because I did the audio for that and here you see the audio response now which I can play back one, two, three, four, five. you may not hear that because I'm recording through my headset but it just played back the thing I recorded a minute ago and then we've got the email address here so that is a massive feature for social surveys it took a lot of effort a lot of work a lot of uh, brainstorming to come up with something unique nothing else has that there are other apps out there that do that one feature and they do nothing else so we're very proud of that one and it's going to add a lot to what you do with social surveys so before I wrap up the video I want to show you some of the other features in the demo you're going to have to look at the, the sales page and all the details there to get a full overview of everything because if I was to demonstrate every single feature in this video we'd be here for an hour and I'm trying to keep it short so I'm gonna go into one of the demos I made this gym one here and I'll just preview it to show you how it looks so it's just a basic survey and this one is a video survey it says here click the thumbnail below to watch the video and choose your favorite so I've added in two workout videos for this gym someone clicks one it brings up the video and starts to play they can play it there and it's selected that video or they can change their selection to this one it'll show it again so in this way people can use videos and other surveys and as you know videos it's a, a massive massive trend right now people people love them people really get engaged with them they really pay attention to them because the internet is so fast now and you just click submit and it goes to the end enter your email to win 10 to this prize draw that is the beauty of social surveys not only is it just a survey app you can easily twist this to be a coupon app a deals app lead generation app 
retargeting up, whatever you want. I mean, I could add a coupon image in here and just say, right, click here to print this, and then people print it, and they get a coupon. There really is no limit to what you can do with this.